Hello everyone, welcome back to Five Elves, Five Lives. This is uh, Ahmed Rashid bringing you the continuation of the adventures of Elf Five, a lovingly renamed Robin Hood, the, well, the Robin Hood Elf. Because as opposed to the last couple runs, this run I am doing entirely focused on bows, 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 and bows. Archery, archery, archery. Little bit of armor on the side for survivability, little bit of spell casting so that I can get Mephitic Cloud up. But other than that, Straight up archery, baby, bows. And for those of you who didn't watch the last part, I highly recommend you watch the last two minutes, where I take a stack of ordinary plus zero arrows and turn them into 294 plus six arrows. That's ammunition. I'm going to drop 194 of them for later and carry 100 with me at all times. Well, 100 with me to start, and then whatever's left is left. And of course, as God gifts come, they come, so yeah. This will allow me to pick up all of my weaponry again, which otherwise I would not be able to carry. And let's put the longbow front and center. I have a wand of draining, lightning, cold, and disintegration. I have scrolls of fear, blink, and teleportation. And apparently an, identify, an unidentified scroll, which I ought to identify. Vorpalization, very nice. Um, Let's drop the the book, because carrying books around is stupid when you don't intend to use them. I could actually I could actually memorize the Sequindarun's Mystic Blast fairly well if I wanted to. Um but no need. And Mephitic Cloud is already pretty much hungerless, which is even better. So, uh, enough dilly-dallying. Do I have anything to eat? Plenty. Let's go to the Orcish Mines, people. Normally I would do the Hive first, but hey, this is a stupid run done stupidly. It won't be stupid if I did it in the correct order, now would it? Uh, I've got the God Gift arrows quivered. Turns out that they are plus four arrows. It's a pity, they could have been plus six if I had known. Why does it keep saying that beam is likely to hit you? I'm not shooting a beam. Okay, off to the Orcish Mines. Or get interrupted by yaks, that's fine too. Let's put up the 100 plus 6 arrows, shall we? Now the beauty of being so highly enchanted is that roughly 13% or more of these arrows should survive every encounter. I mean every shot. So here I still have 98 of the arrows, only one down. And there's actually 300 of them, so it'll take a while before I ever have an ammo problem again. Let's begin by mephiticing the, the clump of powerful folks, followed by the priest, followed by the ones who haven't been mephiticed yet. Okay, and apparently the warrior clubbed the priest to death for me. So, time to start killing stuff. Because apparently Okuwaru, unlike Trog, does not give you piety when somebody else take kills for you. You have to get the kill yourself. Not that I care about piety right now. I'm in the Orcish Mines. This is the place where piety is made. I have no means of digging, which means I can't probably clear the mines just now. But I can at the very least make some inroads. And uh, where might this interdimensional caravan have stopped off? over here. Unfortunately, I'm very unlikely to ever reach that place in time. But, uh, whatever. I have plenty of good equipment, and I have a god that gives more equipment. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten shots, eight kills. Yeah, I'm definitely loving this highly enchanted armor, or ammo. And Okuwaru has a thing for giving me cloaks about now, because I... This is the next cloak he's just given me. The Cloak of Darkness... ...allows me to invoke invisibility. If it has any other effect, I don't know what it is, so I'm not interested. I'll continue to wear my Preserve I Items cloak instead. Now remember, my only goal in coming to the Orcish Mines is not to clear it and get money, which is the usual goal, or even build a piety, which I'm happy to do, but, you know, whatever. This is a childish run. Um, 
the, the goal is to find the elven halls and attack those nice and early. To that end, I'm rushing to the bottom, f not the bottom floor, the third floor, where the, where the elven halls are likely to be located. Getting all the kills I can on the way. And if the elven halls do not show up on this floor, I'm going to very, very cautiously attempt to go any lower, because, as I've said before and impressed upon everyone, the the final hall, the final floor of the elven hall, or orcish mines, is not to be approached lightly. And I'm obviously not in the correct frame of mind to do that right now, since I'm being so cavalier about this guy's life. For all I joke that this is a fail run and all, it has thus far been successful, even though I've done nothing but level bows. The other way, to, the flip side of that coin, mind you, is that uh, his bow skills are more formidable than h any of his predecessors ever, ever were, because even at the end, they had split their experience so much, but he has done nothing but level it the whole time. Oh, come on, leave a corpse. No corpse. No corpse means no hide, means no troll leather armor, which I obviously really would like. Not that it, not that, actually, I wouldn't have poison resistance without it, though, so... I guess it's for the best. I mean, I wouldn't get to keep my poison resistant armor if I had hide. Well, I butchered it, but it didn't leave a hide, so yeah, same problem. I don't consider it particularly lucky to find orcs. You find them all the time, but it is somewhat lucky to put for the orc to kill to leave a corpse. You often have to kill two or three before you get that to happen. I mean, not corpse, a corpse and then a hide after that. Both. It's the double currency. And the beauty of having so much ammo... The beauty of having so much ammo is that I don't have to think about, you know, picking up my arrows until after the fight is over. I can just keep shooting until the fight is over. So not until I start fighting enemies that can resist <coughs> that can resist my sheer uh, firepower that I'm actually going to start being concerned again. Thus far, I've gotten however many kills, and I have only used twelve arrows to do it. Twelve. Every other arrow has been refunded. Back up a floor. The interdimensional caravan is still here, apparently, so let's quickly attempt the last staircase and see if that seals the win in getting to it, because for all I joke, I would like to reach there. There it is. There's the interdimensional caravan. Get off a mephitic. I don't have time to fight these guys. If I'm going to get there, i got to get there now. Let's pick up the little bit of gold on the way. And let's... Let's just go. Apparently there's some... F so Interdimensional Caravan is a very short-lasting portal that leads you to a set of stores. It's very... I, I've never seen them give you free stuff like this, like they're doing now. Possibly because, you know, this stuff is useless to me, and that's why... And they know it. I doubt it, but it's a possibility. Um... I'm not going to even drop the book. I already have an Amulet of Clarity if I want one. An Enchant Weapon 2 and Enchant Weapon 3 scroll, on the other hand, I'm always interested in. Uh, Holy Word? That's not very... F I mean, I guess... I think that that deals area effect damage to undead. Or everything invisibility. Uh, let's shop around and see what else they've got, eh? Wizardry, Magical... Power, Teleport, Control, Guardian, Spirit, Sustenance. The only thing here I might really be interested in is Teleport Control. The ability to choose where to teleport to even somewhat is very useful. Um, yeah, so I think I might just take that. thing is it costs 450 gold. 
but thus far I found nothing else to spend my gold on. Yep, we'll take we're taking it. Besides, all I'm wearing right now is uh, protection from cold, and that's not very relevant. And plus four AC is nice, but not necessary. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on. And who knows, it may save my life at some point. So that's even better. We're gonna take scroll of teleportation and. Uh, Heck, let's take the Holy Word, not because I intend to use it, but because this way it'll be identified. Uh, that's a tricky, particularly tricky scroll to identify. Okay, so that's uh, that's so much for that shop. Let's get back to what we were doing before, killing orcs. Okay, um... Let's actually go up a floor, because we didn't finish exploring the first floor either. Nah, okay. Well, then down a floor. And there was a second up staircase that I didn't actually look through properly because I was in such a rush. So let's go here too. More gold. Okay. This is Orc 4, the lowest level of the Orcish Mines. And as such, not a place that I intend to stay for very long. So I'm gonna requiver the arrows that I don't mind losing. The low enchanted plus four. It's hilarious to call plus four lowly enchanting, but there you have it. You know what? You all can come upstairs with me. It'll be much easier to kill you here, where I'm not being advanced on in every direction. Thus far, it looks like... Oh, come on! This is like the, what, the third high armor I've been given this game? Anyway, what does it do? Uh, see invisibility. That's, well, yeah, that's a useless gift. I'd rather have resist uh, poison on my armor. So, don't need you. You stay here. Rot. Wow, I literally one shot an ogre with uh, with plus four arrows. Now these are plus zero arrows, and they're still getting the job done. Now I'm back to my plus sixers. This is the most beautiful thing. I, I'm, I'm like a pillar of death shooting in every direction, and everything that approaches me dies. I'm gonna go around and uh, start burning corpses and collecting arrows now, and hopefully nothing else comes in to interrupt this process. Notice that I didn't even have to mephitic very often. I, I'm just able to one-shot kill. Um... Let them come a bit closer. That way I can be I can actually pick up my arrows without having to go beyond my visibility range. Oh come on. I don't think it can see me from this distance. Okay, I got troll hide, which is good. Um to drop the chunks though, because they're weighing me down unnecessarily. And antique weapon shop. Great sword, scimitar. Yeah. The other nice thing about not being a hybrid is there are very few spells, or I'm not even looking for a whole lot of equipment anymore. Remember how I wanted like a cold sword and a hot sword and a holy sword and a vorpal sword and then a long sword of each, etc. Well, in this run I've been very much, you know, I want one thing, good arrows and a good bow. I guess that's two things. And good armor. So that's three. But all jokes aside, after that, I'm pretty much set. And even when I don't get everything I want, you know, it's just a matter of want. I, I'm still waiting, for example, on a full armor set. But as far as arrows go, 
I mean, provided that I actually get to pick these up in the end, which it's starting to look like I'm going to have a hard time doing just due to the sheer numbers that are swarming me. Where are my dispersal arrows? Oh, holy crap, I left all my dispersal arrows behind. I'm very lucky that hasn't caught up with me. That would have been a very costly mistake. <coughs> dispersal arrows were one of my absolute best get-out-of-jail-free cards. And the last thing I could afford is to not have them when I need them. Well, there's the door to the Elven Halls. Very much reachable. Um, it's a good thing I checked on dispersal arrows before I attempted to, to go in there. I still haven't faced the most dangerous creatures on this floor. There are, there are plenty of summoners and high orc priests that I would rather not deal with, and possibly even uniques like Maro or Santa Roca can show up here. So, we'll worry about beating this place later. For now, we'll settle, settle for leaving with my 87 plus 6 arrows. These things, they, they do mulch, but uh, like I showed you guys the formula in the last video, very slowly. Alright, so here's the plan. We're going to go to my stash, if you can even call it a stash, it really doesn't qualify. Um, restock on plus six arrows. So I'm back to a hundred. Pick up the dispersal arrows, not all of them, just uh, a small set plus four and the twenty more should do the trick. Uh, I need food. What food do I have in this miserable dungeon? I left eight meat rations at the temple. I can go back for those. And I bought some new scrolls, I believe, that I can leave here. Uh, yeah, enchant weapon two and three. Actually, you know what? Hold that thought. Enchant weapon two and Vorpal can stay here, obviously, I don't need, and the holy word I don't need. But seriously, what better opportunity than when I still have all of my arrows together to enchant my arrows further? I mean, you know, there's no such thing as uh, going too far all out. Except, of course, when you read your precious enchant weapon 3 scroll and it fails. I'm guessing that as you increase in level of, uh, level of mutation, not mutation, level of enchantment, it becomes harder and harder to successfully enchant. That would explain why I've lost three scrolls to it now. Uh, but yeah, where's my enchant armor? I know it's somewhere. Hmm. Oh, I nearly carried all my arrows out of here, that's why. Leave those behind. Off to floor eight. There we go. Let's go ahead and enchant my uh, troll armor. So now I have troll leather armor available. I'm probably not going to actually start using it until I have an alternate means of poison resistance because that's much more valuable. All right, and off to the Elven Halls now. Um, all the usual rules are in effect for being in the Elven Halls. Be very terrified of everything, yada yada. But the only reason I think I can take them on now is because I've been to the first floor once and it ain't so bad. Secondly, I have such a high level of arrow enchantments that I'm able to one-shot a lot of the creatures that I meet. Elven or not. Yeah, these guys are dying in one hit. I'm quite happy with that. It'd be nicer if they died in zero hits, but, you know, that would kind of sort of break the game. Summoners are a different story, though. 
they're just irritating. If they get the first shot off, they get surrounded by a bunch of uh, experienced free creatures that make them very hard to fight. So I'm just going to not bother fighting these guys. They're more than welcome to punch me all they like. I'm just not going to I'm just going to ignore them until this happens. Then I will kill the summoner in one shot by comparison to having to kill all of her minions while she kept spamming more out at me. And I'm being very, very careless. I mean, I shouldn't just be wandering through and auto-exploring, but... Hey, I, Robin Hood's earned the right to be a little cocky, I think. Not because it won't get you killed, but because I've been doing this run for a while now. And I'm quite ready to die. If you guys were... If any of you were actually running a game, th that would be the time I would say stop playing until later when you guys, you know, are paying more attention. So, definite double standard. Just, you know, I'm, all, I'm out, that's the truth. That's a deep elf summoner. It died in one shot. I did not feel bad for it. None of these are useful, so you can keep that book all to yourselves. Alright, that's floor one of the Elven Mines, Elven Halls complete. Let's go to floor two. I've never personally been here, except I think very briefly in a previous run in this very series. And in that run, in that time through, I pretty much left immediately. But you know something, this guy's damage output is just very impressive. I'm actually starting to wonder whether or not I may have been doing it wrong all along, and I should have been doing it like this, where I just pick one skill, and instead of being like, but what if I need a sword, I should have answered the question, never be in a situation where you want to use a sword. Certainly the ability to disperse my enemies gives me a huge, uh, a huge boost in utility, because I can take on a melee enemy by simply uh, making it him not melee for a while. So yeah, um, And it's not just my uh, plus four arrows. Like for that whole encounter, I was using pl or plus seven arrows. For that whole encounter, I was using plus two arrows, and I still managed to kill them quite comfortably. Though admittedly, I actually got hit that time, which was different than the times before. <sighs> what is with your fetish for giving me stuff I don't want? Another stupid thing I just did there was to uh, start changing clothes while I was in the middle of a fight. You see, if you change clothes, it takes 20 or so turns. It doesn't usually feel like that long because usually nothing is there to try and you know punish you for it. But if anything had shown up in that time while I was changing, I would just continue changing helplessly because you're not allowed to attack in between. That was a summoner. I don't know what he summoned, but it looks like it was just these Uffbethuses, which can do very little damage, so I'm just going to sit here and take it. And I'm going to requiver my, my, my max plus arrows, just so I don't have to deal with as much uh, intermediate hits and intermediate hits. Also, frankly, from a long-term perspective, this is probably the best way to go, because it preserves my arrows a lot better than if I use plus zeros and plus ones. I'll kill you now, man.
And on the topic of preservation, I mean, notice that I left the uh, left my stash. When I left from my stash, I had a uh, hundred arrows exactly that were plus six. This whole time, I have only used plus two arrows for like one small fight with seven enemies. The rest of the time, I've been using my uh, my plus six arrows, and I still have. I've only used up a total of like four of them. Yeah, four. Thanks to the non-mulching policy they have. So I strongly recommend this, uh, maybe not enchanting them up to six, that was admittedly me being greedy, but certainly saving your all your plus zero arrows after you start getting gifts, and later on in the game when, you know, you first start feeling the pinch for low arrow capacity, or whatever, then spending all your plus your enchant scroll ones and even some of your enchant scroll twos if you don't have enough to bring them up to plus four or five at least and the reason i'm eating all the perma food all right that's two floors let's go to floor three i mean i'm feeling ballsy now maybe that's why i'm about to get bald uh the archmage or deep elf priest is the real target here everything else isn't that terrifying it's just Bunch of mephiticables. Oh, summoner. Higher priority target. And just to prove I wasn't as careless as I might have been, I do have a level of resist in a lot of different categories, so it's not like I'm taking full damage from all the fire and ice spells that are being used against me. That said, I am playing very foolishly right now, so let's go up the floor. While they're all mephitic still and I'm going to be able to get away with it. Who knows how long that'll last. And instead of fighting that pitched battle, let's fight a simpler battle elsewhere. I wonder if there's a rune in the bottom of the elven halls. I don't actually know. I think there must be. I mean, it's a very challenging vault, but there isn't in the bottom of the orcish mines, so who knows. Interesting, an empty room. Now I've left behind some of my plus six arrows over there, uh, where I first started that fight. In as much as it turns out to be possible, I would like to get them back. Of course, I'm up against a deep elf necromancing mage, or whatever they call them, so probably not going to have the luxury, and that's okay. Let's just get out of here. Everything is mephitic will kill the mages, because mages are very nice and squishy. If I get the shots off, they die. If they get the shots off, I die. But unlike them, I'm intelligent, and I know when to hide. They don't know that against me they should always hide. Okay, stuff just got real. Um, I don't know what this guy is, but he looks dangerous. A sorcerer. Moving very quickly, which means he's hasted. And a death mage, and a summoner, and their summons, and god knows how many other things that are hiding behind them. This is an excellent time to use one of my seven blink scrolls, get as far away from them as possible, and disappear. Don't forget, I have plenty more arrows where that came from. I am not in any urgent need to retrieve my arrows here. Definitely a good time to practice the fighting by staircase technique. Oh god, he summoned something, didn't he? Disperse, disperse, back with you, back with you. It's just a basic zombie now that he's resummoned it, but it doesn't make it any less uh, irritating, so gotta get rid of it. Just makes it less lethal. Notice that I couldn't actually see what I was going to Mephitic there, and I didn't care. He shouted, which means other things are coming, which means good time to drop a Mephitic. In case you guys missed what just happened there, 
I was attacked by a spell which had a side effect of casting me into the abyss. The abyss, for those of you who haven't seen me here or seen anyone here before, is a horrible, terrible place which has no map, is a big circle, goes infinitely in every direction, randomly teleports you around and randomly changes shape, has a random number of doors to get out that you usually don't see until at least 500 steps, unless you're really lucky, and has all the enemies in the game pretty much are capable of spawning here, some of the most dangerous things ever. You can't ever control your teleports here. You can, however, uh, do teleportation, but sometimes it takes eight or more turns to kick in, sometimes less. Um, and it, I'm not carrying any food, so dying of starvation is a very real risk right now. I'm powerful, but I'm not powerful enough to fight this place. I'm praying I get out of here fast. And with that, I'm going to leave you in suspense as to what happens, I'm afraid, because it's time for me to go. So look forward to next run when you see whether or not Elf 5 dies in the abyss. Take care, and I will catch you all later.